I'd like to show you some advanced functions of the Lumix Tether for Multicam app, specifically to control multiple cameras at once. Let's have a look. This is the main control panel. From here, I can open the LV or the Live View to see through the camera. And from here, I can open up the camera list to see all the cameras on the network. These can be controlled over an Ethernet network, or in my case here, I'm actually controlling both over USB. Both of these cameras are connected via USB to my Mac. I'm currently looking at this camera in the Live View. I know that because of the yellow dot here. If I want to preview the other camera, I simply click on it, and the view refreshes to show me the live view of the other camera. From this list, I can reorder the cameras, and if I want to, I can sleep an individual camera by clicking on the camera icon there. I can also select the All Cameras option, which will allow me to execute certain functions across multiple cameras simultaneously, such as Start and Stop Record. Let's have a look. With that All camera selected, I'll click on the Record button. You can see that both cameras have lit up simultaneously, so both cameras are now recording. And in the top right corner of the live view, we can see the count up of the current recording time. When I want to stop recording, just click stop. And of course, all cameras will stop as well. Down under the settings option, I can control a variety of other things for the cameras, such as where the footage is stored that you shoot on a camera. You can choose to have your footage stored on the memory card, the memory card and the PC or the computer that's attached, or just the computer. We certainly recommend that if you are going to store your footage on the computer, that you let it be stored on the memory card as well. It's just a good idea for backup. Also, this function is really designed for use with a single camera, not with multiple cameras. I'll go ahead and leave it at memory card. If you are choosing to store your content on the computer, you can choose where and how they're named through these options here. Scrolling down the list, you'll see we also have a firmware update option. This is fantastic. This allows me to update an individual camera's firmware by simply selecting the file on my desktop and uploading it to the camera, instead of having to copy the file to an SD card, load it into each camera, and dig through the menu system. This saves a lot of time. The next function down here is one of my favorites. That is the camera settings and the ability to save and restore these. Let's say that I've set up this first camera, PJ01, and I want to populate these settings to all my other cameras. I'll call this Cam1, save the settings to the desktop, and then restore those same settings to another camera here. This allows me to ensure that all of the cameras on a set have the exact same settings. There's one more thing I want to show you in here, and this is just a little tip. Up in the top right corner where we have the menu button, you'll notice that I can't access it right now. It's grayed out. Why would that be grayed out? Well, remember, I have all cameras selected. I can't control the menu system of multiple cameras simultaneously. So if you're ever in your software and you find that you can't access the menu button, that's probably why. Just head over to the camera list, disable all cameras, and now the menu is accessible again. And those are some of the advanced tips for the Lumix Tether for Multicam app. Panasonic.